Autistic woman and marketing officer Jacinta Reynolds knows how to spot a good story. Being able to pick patterns in the way people are writing and telling stories at the time, what people want to talk about and how people want to talk about it, that all fits nicely into it with the scientific background. I'm working on the onboarding. About a quarter of her colleagues at this mining services business, including the chief technology officer, are neurodivergent. It gives us the ability to have a team of people who are extremely focused, awesome. um, think very, very differently. We create innovation that's world class. But they're significantly underrepresented. The most recent data collected by the Bureau of Statistics in 2018 shows the participation rate for people with autism, that is those looking for work or already working, was just 38%. Services Australia launched a program two years ago to increase its autistic workforce. It's important to um, provide people with those long-term meaningful uh, uh, job prospects and for them to be able to um, have the, the dignity of employment just like everybody else. Recent recruit Hale Smith works in the fraud team. I get to be a detective from a desk, which is honestly as cool as it sounds. Uh, so things like Spotting patterns, that's been one of the uh, really useful skills. The kind of skills businesses are being encouraged to consider. Any kind of workplace that wants to uh, remain competitive, stay ahead of the game and find new ways to compete can benefit from employing neurodivergent people. An untapped solution to the skills shortage. Rachel Papazzoni, ABC News.